let's do this. Well, looky what we got here, the M18 Fuel Coreless Framing Nailer. I've been waiting for this Milwaukee Framing Nailer for a long time. We finally got it here thanks to Acme Tools. I'll put a link in the description below for you to check this out. Now they do have two different nailers. This one here is the 30 degree. You can go from 30 to 34 degree nails from two to three and a half inch. Listen, you wanna stick around for this. Not only are we gonna show you all the specs and everything this nailer can do and talk about some of the things that I don't care for, but this review went national. The biggest name in news today picked up on this and he ran it globally. I'll show you that here in a bit. Now we've tested a lot of the new Milwaukee M18 nailers on the channel. This one here fits right in. It's all digital just like the other ones, but here's the thing, it's a little bit heavier. You're looking at almost nine and a half pounds for the framing nailer. You do get your belt clip, but if you put it on your belt, your pants are gonna fall down because, well, it's heavier. Now let's take a look at that nailer real close here. Again, 30 degrees up to 34 degrees from two inch up to three and a half inch. You can go clipped or full head nails. Now for the review today, we are using the Grip Right 30 degree paper tape framing nails. You can throw them right in the back of this nailer. Pretty simple to do. The only issue is, well, the clip, not as big as I would like it to be. I tried to put a couple different magazines in and well, only one would fit. I do believe you can get the extended magazine, but it comes like this, it is what it is. You also get the rafter hook on this nailer, which is really cool. Really allows you to set this thing down, walk away, come back, pick it up again, you're good to go. Now, just like on every other Milwaukee nailer that has come out, the M18 Fuels, well, you got the digital mode. You can go from single shot or bump or what I like to call Rambo style. You got your on and off button right there. All you got to do is hold it down for a second. It kicks on. If you want to switch the modes, you just hit that mode button. Even in the daylight, the sunlight, you can still see that pretty good. Now, as far as it goes with comfort, again, it's a little bit heavier at 9.5 pounds. It's not as balanced as I thought it would be. A little bit top heavy, just throwing that out there. But as far as it goes with grip, it's a nice grip. The trigger, very simple to put your finger around. But what I love about this nailer is how you can adjust the depth. Check this out, very heavy duty right up on top. All you do is turn that, there's no little knobs. You got that full access right up on top. You bring it left, you bring it right. You can sink those nails down further if you want or sink them flush if you want. It works great. Now the one thing I cannot stand about those smaller knobs is that I got big fingers so it's hard for me. But this right here, I'm telling you, check that out. It is so smooth. That's a big win for Milwaukee right there. Now take a listen to this. There is absolutely no revving on this nailer at all. You just push it down, squeeze that trigger, and it goes, it fires. And that's real nice like. Now we are in that single shot mode again. What's nice about this, that, that nailer will not move because you got the two spikes right up there on the head. That is about as flush as you will get. It goes down into about 16th of an inch. And right there, we're sinking it all the way down. Don't worry, I'll give you all kind of all kind of different angles on this. That's if you smeesh that like button. Again, we'll have a bunch of different angles for you, but this nailer really picked up in the news and just, you know, everybody was waiting for this so much so that I was invited onto probably the best tool news channel in the world, really. And here's a short clip out of the five hour interview that we did. Hello, I'm Todd Rebuso, and welcome to the best damn tool news channel on the tube. Today, we're here with TRZ. He's talking about the M18 Milwaukee Fuel Coreless Framing Nailer. TRZ, how you doing? Todd, what an awesome privilege it is being back here on this show talking about the new M18 Framing Nailer from Milwaukee. I'm just very excited to be here. I gotta be honest, it would be nice to say the same to you. I just don't like you very much. TRZ. The last time I think we spoke is when I ran that cup tool off the toop. Uh, yes, I believe I completely decimated their ratings. No, uh, they're not cop tool anymore. They changed their name to belts and boxes, but they're still around. Young man, how dare you talk about to me? Who do you think that's at? Cop tool? <laughs> so what you're telling me is they now make belts and jewelry boxes. Interesting. So I, I'd really like to talk about the new Milwaukee would you please stop interrupting me? Does anybody ever tell you you just talk too much? TRZ, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody why you begged us to be on this show today? Todd, I, I believe you asked me to come on. That is what we call fake news. Show. All right, listen, Todd, I, I just wanted to come and talk about the new Milwaukee M18 framing nailer. You know, I, 
I didn't Young man, why don't you take your attitude over to Bell Town Boxes? I'm sure they would appreciate your back talk. Uh, Excuse me one second while we interrupt this segment for our sponsor. Sponsor boy, not Belt and Boxes. All right, Todd, I, I gotta go, buddy. Yeah, it's always good seeing you. It's, it's, sometimes it's nice seeing you. I think you just gotta take yourself over to Belt and Boxes. I think they'd appreciate you. Wow. I think that's probably one of the best bound men of we've ever done on this channel, huh? Mm -hmm. Ugh, sometimes it's just so mean. But he is good what he does, though. All right, you can see that we're even and flush, and then we're sank all the way. But let's check this out right here. Let's just do a couple single shots. My, oh my. All right, let's move it over to the Rambo mode. You're just gonna push that button like so. It goes into that bump. And here we go. Oh, how I love tools. All right, we got a couple pine two by fours here. Let's shoot a couple through here and then we'll see if this thing can toenail. Now I am going to adjust my depth here and we're gonna sink these nails all the way down. The thing is so freaking cool. I love the sound this thing makes. But what about the toenail? Yep. You can do it. Do a couple more side views for you. No gas cartridges, no airlines, 100% battery, it works. Awesome. There's really hardly any kick to this thing. What a fantastic nailer. I love there's no rev. It's just like all of the other newer M18 nailers. This thing is awesome. And you got the LED light right there. So that's real nice like. I love how the two claws just hold your nailer in place. And don't worry about the marks because it's a framing nailer. But don't worry, you get a Nomar pad with this if you want to use it. You also got the hex key tool storage on board. Now, as far as it goes with how many nails you can fire, you're looking at three per second. It's an extremely powerful nailer. Again, no ramp up time at all. No revving, nothing. We're gonna put this up against the Dewalt framing nailer, by the way, so look for that video soon. Again, a little bit bulky, not as balanced as I thought it would be, but still got a great grip. The build quality, very heavy duty. It will last you a very long time on any job site. Very happy to have this in my hands and be able to show it to you. I know we've all been waiting a long time to see this thing in action. It was a year behind schedule to be released, but all in all, it is what it is. We got it here and it is just fantastic. I definitely recommend it. Check out the link in the description below. I wanna know what you think though. Do you like this nailer? How would you make it better if you could? Or do you think it's fine the way it is? I'd love to hear your feedback, so please leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you could smash that like button, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you like, these types of videos get subscribed and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out with that we'll be back with more videos soon